Are you ready for the ultimate Formula 1 mystery? The sparks flying from those high-speed race cars have long captivated fans, but have you ever stopped to wonder, why does that happen? The answer may surprise you. Get ready to dive into the science behind the sparks and the true reason for this dazzling display. Buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride. Formula 1 cars have what's known as a plank underneath the car, which runs from the rear of the car to just below the front wheels. The plank was introduced by the FIA as a way to reduce underbody aerodynamics, as well as preventing the car from bottoming out on the straights. One might expect it to be made of carbon fiber or another highly specialized material. It's actually made out of a wood material called jabroc. This is made out of beech wood built in a composite process with veneers and resin used on each layer. The sparks on F1 cars come from titanium skid blocks which are embedded within the plank. The skid blocks exist to prevent the plank from getting damaged, and they protrude out of the plank itself by no more than 3 millimeters. When the car bottoms out, the skid blocks hit the ground first, creating a shower of sparks behind the car in the process. Titanium skid blocks were originally used in the 1980s and 1990s and were reintroduced to Formula 1 in 2015. The sparks coming from the car are intended to prevent damage to the car rather than being a sign of damage. The plank on the car is there to ensure that teams are running the correct ride height. The skid blocks help to reduce the amount of damage being done to the plank, which is strictly measured and governed by F1 rules. If the plank were worn by more than one millimeter, the driver would be disqualified from the race as he would have run the car too low. This happened to Michael Schumacher at the 1994 Belgian Grand Prix, who after winning the race was disqualified for running the car too low. The same thing happened to Jarno Trulli at the 2001 United States Grand Prix, but his team successfully appealed the result. F1 cars run at a specific ride height and are then pushed down into the track by the aerodynamics creating downforce. The car's aerodynamic surfaces are designed in such a way that the air flowing over the car pushes it down, creating downforce and reducing the car's ride height. While this helps with lateral side-to-side -side movement in corners, there is no lateral movement on the straight. This means the aerodynamics force the car's ride height lower, making it closer to the ground and thus more likely to make contact with the track as the drivers hit bumps on the track, which in turn means more sparking. It's also common at the start of a race as cars have up to 110 kilograms of fuel and are much heavier than at the end of the race. Until 2015, skid blocks made of Kevlar were used to mount the plank until the FIA mandated it would be titanium for safety and bring more sparks and more spectacle. Before 2015, teams began using hard-wearing metals to strategically place on the plank so that they could lower the car so that when they bottomed out, they would hit the metal instead of the plank. The downside of this is that it was a safety risk, as the pieces of metal could fragment and cause punctures. F1 cars also produce a lot of sparks at elevation changes, as the ground rubs more against the track, such as at Eau Rouge at Spa, in many sections of the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pace, or, or the first sector at Suzuka. All these places are ideal to see the sparks left by cars. Aerodynamic changes for the 2022 season makes this year's cars very different from previous seasons. One of the concepts that will change the most is the floor. The flat floor, which has been regulated since 1983, will be changed for a floor feature two big channels running from front to rear on each side of the central plank. As the 2022 F1 season came to a close, fans were treated to some of the most spectacular displays of sparks flying from the underside of the cars in recent memory. The advances in aerodynamics that allowed for increased downforce made for truly mesmerizing moments as the cars seemed to dance with electricity and leave a trail of fiery sparks in their wake. It's no wonder that fans couldn't get enough of this high-speed spectacle and are already counting down the days until the next season begins. Until then, relive the excitement by re-watching some of the most electrifying moments from the 2022 season. And while you're enjoying the videos of Sparks Flying, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And while you're down there, tell us your thoughts in the comment section. See you in the next video.